Well, it seems like you're an incredibly confident pitcher. And uh, I know you love self-talk. I heard you in spring <laughs> training. I know fans have heard you. And at times I hear you say, get out in front. Get out in front. You're just constantly reminding yourself of some fundamentals that maybe help you click. When you say get out in front, what, what does that mean? For me, uh, going back to the self-talk, though, uh, one of my favorite guys, if you ever heard, uh, heard him, he's got a couple uh, YouTube stuffs out, but his story, is, uh, it's unbelievable. His name's David Goggins, uh, former Navy SEAL. Uh, but uh, it's just his mentality and his thing that he's always talking about is self-talk. Uh, I think self-talk, you know, the power of the mind is, it's incredible. And so for me, if I can just keep telling myself what I need to do, uh, it's more so likely to happen. But whenever I tell myself to get out front, it means that I might be here versus out here where I want to be. And the longer I can hold on to the baseball, the closer I'm going to get to the hitter and the more uh, I guess the more nasty the pitch will be at the, at the very end of when it gets to the plate. So the finish comes out front. That's my opinion. Okay. I think all the all of my, all my velo comes from out here. Once I get here, it's all right here in the fingertips. I think it's you know a good balance over the front of the knee, and it's out here just finish. Have you always had good mechanics? Oh, what a pitch that was. Breaking ball for a called strike three. I think I've had simple mechanics. I think, you know, I didn't really start pitching until my freshman year of uh, college. So it's, uh, you know, I was a work in progress with Jeff Levin at Angelina. Um, but, it, I mean, he was kind of the, the laid the groundwork for, for who I am today. So, you know, big arms come out of Texas. We all know that. <laughs> you mentioned Maddox. He's a Texas yeah. guy, right? There's uh, Kerry Wood. Uh, oh, Josh yeah. Beckett. I mean, there's uh, Scott Casimir. There's been a lot of big arms coming. Yeah, out of a lot of drop and drive well, I mean, guys. You can't forget Nolan. Nolan's been oh, by right? far the best. Yeah, I, absolutely. You mentioned uh, some of these guys. I mean, future Hall of Famers, Hall of Famers there. And you had talked earlier just about the mental part of the game. Those are some of the guys when they took the the bump, they were as confident as any pitcher in the game. Is, is that what you strive for? And how do you lock into that? I think it's just uh, you know not only a part of my routine at the field, but I have a mental routine uh, that I go through with Brian Kane as far as audios, mental imagery, um, you know, self-talk. I mean, it's it's one of those things that you know. There's so many things in this game that's out of your control, and this is one of the things that's you know in my control. And it's you know, what are you going to do with it? And so uh, I think not only is it great to have you know a game plan of what you want to do to a hitter, but a game plan for self-talk when you get into certain situations and how you can get out of those. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's going to be an exciting year for the Orioles, and uh, certainly the rotation more solid with the veteran arm of Andrew Kashner. Thanks for being on Break It Down. Uh, thanks board. for having me.